Hey there, in today's video, I'm gonna give you a complete tutorial on how you can use the Stargate application to transfer assets between different layer twos, to pool and farm your assets, to stake your assets, and much more. And remember, using Stargate is gonna be one of the key requirements for a layer zero airdrop. So this is gonna be part one of two or three segments that I'm going to do on the layer zero airdrop because it is such a comprehensive ecosystem that the video would be just way too long if I did it all in one. Anyways, Stargate is the layer zero portal to get your assets between the Ethereum ecosystem and all of the different layer twos that are built upon Ethereum. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the transfer feature because this is where you can transfer assets from different chains to other chains. So for example, if I wanted to bridge some tokens from the Linea layer two, and I could bridge them to any of these other layer twos that are showing up here. So I could send them to Arbitrum, Optimism, Base. Now, you'll notice that some of them are grayed out because they're not all compatible yet anyways, but there's lots of options. So whichever one you select, you'll be able to bridge assets to a number of different networks. So in this case, since I have some ETH on the Linea layer two, I'm gonna bridge it to, let's say, the Arbitrum network, and I'll show you how it works. You select the network you're going from and the network you're going to. And then you can also select different assets. So you don't just have to bridge ETH, you can bridge all of these different tokens that are showing up here. And if you want to search for it, well, you can search for it like that. Now, once you've decided the from and the to networks and then which token you're sending, you have to select the amount. So let's go ahead and say, I want to send 0.02 ETH from Linea to Arbitrum. It will pop up right below showing how much you will actually receive and you'll notice the amount is slightly less than 0.02 because there's a very small fee of two cents for making this type of transaction. So once you've confirmed everything, you just go ahead and hit transfer and then your Web3 wallet, in this case, I'm using MetaMask, it's gonna pop up asking you to confirm the transaction. So this transfer is actually gonna cost me $2 about because the Linea network is actually experiencing high demand right now, but that's okay for the purposes of the tutorial, let's go ahead and confirm this transaction. And then we have to wait for it to confirm. So while I wait for this transfer to go through, let's move on to the next aspect of the Stargate application, which is the pool feature. Now you'll notice that I already have some assets added to the different liquidity pools on Stargate. But the way this works essentially is when you're transferring assets from one chain to another, then Stargate needs to have liquidity on all of these different networks in all of these different assets in order for this to actually work. And so the pool is where you can offer up some of your different assets, for example, ETH or stable coins like USDC and USDT. And in exchange for offering this liquidity to Stargate, then you can earn a yield on your deposits. So you'll notice I've deposited some ETH and some USDC into the liquidity pools on Stargate. And if the layer zero airdrop is something that you're interested in getting, then I recommend depositing at least a notional amount of crypto into at least one of the liquidity pools. Now you'll notice that if you hit on the available button, it's gonna show you what assets you have on the different layer two networks that are eligible, and you can select one of them to make a deposit into the liquidity pool if you're interested in doing so. So for example, if I hit on the optimism section, then I can add some ETH to the ETH optimism pool. And the way I would do that is simply by selecting the amount and then hitting on the add button and it will confirm the transaction in the wallet. Now, since my transfer from Linea to Arbitrum just went through, I'll actually add some liquidity in the Arbitrum pool to show you how it works. So let's say I wanted to add 0.01 ETH to the Arbitrum ETH pool on Stargate. I would select the amount here and I would hit on the add button. Now it's gonna pop up in MetaMask asking me to confirm this transaction and pay the gas fees which I will do, and there you go, it was added. Now if I wanted to remove liquidity, I could just hit on the remove button here, and then I could select how much I want to remove. All right, the next thing that you can do with Stargate to increase your interactions with the protocol and increase the size of your layer zero airdrop is to then take the liquidity pool tokens that you got for depositing into the LP and farm those tokens for additional APY. So you can hit on this button when you make a deposit or up top here, there's also a tab that says farming. So if we go over here to the farming tab, this is where we can take those LP tokens, which just represent the fact that we have deposited a certain amount of a certain asset into a liquidity pool. And we can take those tokens 
and we can deposit them into liquidity farms and earn additional yield. So if I scroll down to this section here that shows all of the different farms, you can see the different yields for the different assets on the different layer two networks. Now, in this case, if I hit on the available button, it shows me the LP tokens that I have available to farm. And then I would hit on this button here and I could choose how much to stake. So let's just go ahead and deposit the full amount into the farm, hit add stake, and then confirm another transaction on MetaMask. So these liquidity pool farms are now earning additional yield. And if I click on the pending rewards tab, it will show me what rewards I have available to claim. Now, right now, not very much because I literally just did this the other day, but over time it will accrue. And then you can come back here to claim your rewards if you want, or you can just get out of these by hitting on them and then unstaking the tokens. And then you go back to the pool tab and then you would withdraw them from the pool. So it's a multi-step process. But remember, every time you do one of these transactions, you're establishing your on-chain history that will help you qualify for a larger airdrop from layer zero. All right, so that's transfer pool and farming. Next up and final is staking. Now, this is a little bit different because in order to participate in staking and then voting, you have to have STG tokens. Now, STG stands for the Stargate token. And the way that you get these tokens is by going to any exchange, so Uniswap or OneInch or Wufi, and then you can purchase STG tokens and bring them back over here. Now, you can see that I have STG tokens on multiple different layer twos and I'm staking them all. And when you stake STG tokens, again, the same thing applies. You hit on the available tab here and then you choose which tokens you want to stake. And then once you've done that, they show up over here in the your stakes section. And when you stake these STG tokens, you get something called VESTG. And this is a token that gives you voting power over the Stargate DAO. So this is getting a little complicated, but stick with me here because we're almost done. These VESTG tokens, which you can see I have 21.61 VESTG, give you the ability to vote on Snapshot. And down here, there's a button that says vote on Snapshot. So if we go over here, anytime that there's a proposal that needs to be voted on by the Stargate DAO, anyone that has these tokens staked can come over here to the Snapshot application and can vote on whether or not they approve or disapprove of these proposals. So you need to keep an eye on this Snapshot page. And then whenever you see a proposal come up, you can read through it and decide whether or not you wanna vote yes or no. If you do all of these things, you make at least one or two bridge transfers, you pool some assets, you farm them, and then you stake some STG tokens and take those tokens and vote on the snapshot application, you'll have done pretty much everything you need to do in this first stage of the layer zero airdrop qualification. Now, in future videos, I'm gonna go more in depth on some of the other applications and different networks that are involved in the layer zero ecosystem. So we'll get into a more complicated strategies on things you can do to maximize a layer zero airdrop later but hopefully you found this tutorial helpful and if you like this video you might also like this one right here thanks so much for watching and have yourself a great day i'll see you later